Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt and I help people overcome retroactive jealousy. In this video, I want to talk to you about the present moment and being in the present moment. How powerful that idea of the present moment is when we are battling with retroactive jealousy and how finding the present moment and staying present as much as we possibly can is our way out, is our way to relief, is our way to freedom. So we'll get to that in today's video. Before we do though, please make sure you smash the like button so we can get the video out to more people that need to see it. And also if you want some extra help in overcoming RJ, keep in mind I have a ton of courses down there in the links in the description below. I also have a coaching program down there. I'd love to help you personally overcome this once and for all. Okay, so this idea of the present moment is this, is these thoughts, these retro jealousy thoughts, they're not here, they're not now, right? In the present moment, everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. Nothing is happening there. When we get out of our heads and look at ourselves physically, everything is perfect. Nothing wrong, nothing bad is happening. You're watching this video on your phone, on your computer, you're sitting on your bed, your couch, wherever. You're just sitting there, right? Nothing else is happening. So if you're feeling angst or stressed or anything like that, we know it's all here. And we know that that means your mind has taken you out of the present moment. And you are stressing about something or worried about something that either has already happened, you can't change it, or has yet to happen, right? You're getting a fight or flight response to something that you have no control over. And that's very important to understand. When you're in the present moment, you won't have those type of reactions because again, right here, right now, everything is perfect. Everything is calm. Everything is peaceful. So I talk about it a lot in, in these videos is when you get a triggered retroactive jealousy thought and you get that emotional response, Quickly, our initial response is to be like, I need to get back to feeling good as quickly as possible. I need to explore this thought. I need to do this. I need to do that. We're constantly taking ourselves out of this present moment and trying to do something, right, to make us feel good. But if we just sit with the feeling for a little bit without judging it and feel it, we've put ourselves in the present moment. We have put ourselves completely in the present moment just by feeling it, not letting the thoughts take us, ignoring the thoughts and feeling the, the emotion, right? We're here in the present. We're feeling the emotion. We're not judging it. And we're seeing that it's not harming us in the least bit. And we calm down and that energy of that emotion burns away. And before we know it, it's gone. And we continue to do that, the entire emotion will, will again dissolve. And so there's a lot of power in being present and finding the present moment and staying there. One thing I always like to do um, is whenever I'm just sitting around, I'll always just kind of feel my hands on my, on my knees, on my legs, and feel that physical sensation of my fingers touching my, my knees the palms of my hands on my legs, right? Just feel that, what does that feel like? Because that gets me completely out of my head, right? Into the physical, feeling your feet on the ground takes you out of your head and into the now. Doing meditation on a regular basis. I've done so many videos preaching meditation. I got a whole course on mindfulness and on meditation that you can check out in the, in the links in the description below. How powerful meditation is in finding the present moment and staying in the present moment right? Because when we continue to put ourselves in the present moment over and over and over again, as much as we can by practicing meditation, by practicing grounding, by just feeling the emotion without judging it and feeling it, the more we put ourselves there, our brain goes, whoa, I like that. I like how that feels. I want to be there more often. And so automatically our brain will start being on our side and help you be in the present moment. It will no longer chase after these thoughts and all these things. It'll say, no, I like being here in the present. This is much nicer here. And so it becomes easier and easier to be present, to not chase after these thoughts. Your brain will take over and rationally say like, I don't wanna think about that right now. That takes me out of the now. I'm enjoying the now much more. I'm so much calmer. So I'm not gonna think about this now. And rationally, your brain, you know, that rational brain kicks in and you just don't think about it. The emotion's not there anymore. The thoughts aren't there anymore. You're here, you're peaceful, you're calm in the present moment. This is so powerful. If you have not done any mindfulness exercises before, any meditation exercises before, this is a game changer. It was a game changer for me. I had never done meditation prior to retroactive jealousy, prior to me suffering from it. And I got into meditation because of it. And I still do meditation to this day because I love the benefits from it. Not only did it help me overcome retroactive jealousy, a huge, a huge factor in overcoming RJ, but it, it I mean, helps me today with minor stresses and things like that in life. It's such a powerful exercise in finding the present moment and staying there. It relieves so much pain, so much turmoil in your life. So much of that retroactive jealousy pain, it relieves it once and for all. So try that, try meditation. Again, try mindfulness. If you're not familiar with it, I have an excellent course. It's called the One Week Mind Retreat. 
fantastic course. It's going to teach you all about meditation, teach you all about mindfulness, uh, spread some knowledge about um, various mindfulness teachers and things like that for you to really nail down this idea of the present moment and finding relief there because that is how you will overcome retroactive jealousy. If you enjoyed today's video, please take a moment and smash the like button so we can get the video out to more people than you need to see it. Also subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Click the notification bell so you are alerted every time I post a new video. That's it for me for now, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day today. I'll see you in the next video.